Okay, guys, let's pay attention then, and we will continue with reading class, right? And if I if I remember, you have to to share today what you uh, investigate, right? About the uh, the homework. Yes, do you remember the homework or not? Okay, you have to investigate, right? Important people in your family, right? In this case, uh, women, right? So, can can a volunteer share with us? Me, Mister. Okay, Glynis, tell me. Okay, wait. I I I have it in my notebook and my um. Okay, there is my mom in the on the on bank online. She transferred money organs dedicated to donate food and in a group of young persons okay. that in charge to donate face masks and personal protection equipment to the hospitals and it buy things like food, water protection to ancients. Okay, good job. Congratulations to, the, to your mother, right? It is good job, right? It is good, I always do good action, right? To help others, okay? So, someone else? Okay, Baden? Important. Well, woman in my family is my grandma because he's a doctor and he's dedicated to she's dedicated to help person if he is sick. Okay, good job. You know, uh, Mister. Minister. Okay, continue. My, I and my important family are my grandmother because they um. They have seven, 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 how do you say English, hijos? Seven, seven sons and daughters? Yes, seven sons and, and they and the, the huracan niche. Yes. They, they put the, the house and los de, they, los, how do you say in English, los de afuera? Okay, there's, they lose everything? They lose everything and they protect us all the seven sons. Okay, that's good. Thanks God, right? So, another person, the last person. I missed it. I missed it. Uh, is my uncle because he was a coroner of the police. Okay. He, at the first, he was a simple soldier, but he does very important things in the police and converting a coroner. Okay, good job. So, uh, I think that uh, around our family, we have a lot of important people, right? And also we have women right that we are the same yes so let's continue then right with the story and i'm going to share right what we have to do today yes you don't have that i don't know if you can see the presentation guys yeah mister yes okay so if we have the title of the story right and we have the vocabulary, right? And okay, we we'll stop here, right? So we already discussed what you wrote, right? That it was yesterday, and also we already practiced about the vocabulary from this uh, story, right? So let's continue then, and then we already discussed this homework. Yes. So now, guys. Which is the gender of this week? As gender, this week we have narrative nonfiction. Do you remember the last gender we have? Nonfiction paragraph. Could you repeat again, please, Andrea? Nonfiction paragraph. Nonfiction, right? And we talked about that. Uh, events that happens 
right? In the past, right? That's yes, when the story are in past tense. Yes? yes. So in this gender from this week, that is narrative non-fiction, right? We include real people, right? We can find real people, real places, and events that actually happen. So these story are really Mr. I do a story what what fiction and I don't know what are these or other. Okay, now wait, wait, we are discussing this okay. first. So in these stories, right, are actually through. Yes. Uh, and also we have past tense is used throughout the whole story, right? As it is a story real, a real story that happened already. So we will find right in the whole story past tense because there is like a tale, but in real life. Yes. And then I need you to write this in your notebook, please. And when you read, as you read, you have to look for factual information, illustration that help convey an idea from the text and events in time order, right? Events in time order. Did you finish? These are the three things that you have to look for in the story, right? That you have to identify. This one is really important. This one, the last one, because we will create a timeline, right? Using that story, right? Using the events of the story. Yes? Did you finish? Hurry up. Mr. I, I take a picture. You have to write, Angel. May we continue now? May we continue now, guys? Okay, let's continue then. Okay, and then we have target skill, right? That is the important topic about this story, right? The main idea, we can say this, right? So, and it is conclusion and generalization, right? Do you know what is a conclusion, guy? Conclusion. Yes, of course, but could you please give me a an idea of what is a, a conclusion? Are um at the resume yeah, right? yes. part of your think of the story. Yes, of course. Or you can use conclusion right in other things as well. Yes, not Come on resume. Yes, of course. So engineer is generalization. You know what is a generalization? Generalization. 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 It is actually, guys, when you generalize something. I'm going to explain you what, what is this. First, we have conclusion, right? So, could you please scan it with what we have in the, in the first line here? Making huge demands based on details in the text and your prior knowledge. Okay, stop there. So, when we're making judgment, right, based on details, that's why you have to look for details in this story, right? You have to remember the details in this story, in the text, right, in your clear knowledge, right? And then we have an example. I already know some things about the American Revolution, right? And the illustration from for this story shows about 
people in colonial clothing, right? And someone who looks like George Washington. Yes? This is a conclusion, right? Uh, that we, what can we do this? That we adjust the story, right? Using the details and what we learn about the story, right? Using the knowledge you got. Yes? And also it says that it helped me draw conclusion that the text about the revolution war. Yes? Okay, let's continue. Are you clear about what, what is the conclusion? Yes? Okay, and then here we have a picture. And then we have drawing conclusion because we are going to draw conclusion. We are going to write conclusion. Yes. And here we have using what you already know to figure out what people will do or say. Yes. And then here we have generalization. And I'm going to ask Brisa, please read the first part. A generalization is a broad statement about people, ideas, or things that is mostly true. Okay. And then we have an example, right? At Bali, first, the men had, had to stand on their heads, right? So their, that hair fed, fit, wouldn't freeze. They didn't have enough to eat, and their camp was filthy. Okay, when we're talking about generalization, we are generalizing an idea. But, like for example, a Honduran people don't behave. Like for example, because most of the people here in Honduras, right, have bad habits, right, or bad manners, yes? But not all of them, but we are generalizing the idea, right? Do you understand? Es cuando nosotros generalizamos una idea, aunque no esté a hundred percent, right? Sure. Yes? Like, for example, I can say, uh, fifth grade students uh, do their homework. Yes? We are generalizing that you do your homework, right? But because uh, I can say that a, a 98% of you, right, do your homework. Yes? Yes, do you understand, guys? Do you understand, Miguel? Yes? Are you clear in this, with this? Okay, so, generalization, right? Life at Bali for first was very difficult for the soil. That is an example that we have in the story. Yes? So let's continue then. And then we have generalization, right? That is a statement about a group that is true for most of that group. Yes? Okay, so now we, are going, we will start reading. Yes? And then I'm going to ask to go to page 394 and 395. Yes? Because we will start reading this story right now. I I I look at it, Mister. I, I am in a page. Sorry. Three hundred ninety-four and three hundred ninety-five. Are you ready? So, yeah. here we have, guys, what we have here, the title of the story, right? We have the title of the story, right? And also we have a picture. And what can you say in the picture? What can you say in this picture? 
Ustaz Molly. A woman. A woman. Oh, my name is Molly. Now, raise your hand. Okay, Gabriel. What can you observe in the picture? A woman. Okay. What else? Miguel Abel? A woman that is in battle. Yes, of course, it's in battle, yes. So, let's continue then. And you know that we, when we read, you have to follow the reading, yes? You have to follow the reading. Mister, we do that in a story. Mister, we go to the bathroom. Oh, wait, wait a little bit. We are almost finishing. Yes? So let's start then. And please follow the reading. And I'm going to ask people, right, to continue reading. <laughs> we don't have the story because we have to read this page and, uh, and this one. Yes? And we will stop here. Just these two pages. Yes? So, after, that, after we're, we finish, we have to make a presentation of these two pages. Yes? And I'm going to ask for... Me, mister. Mister. Okay, I'm going to ask for... Sorry. Uh, okay, Miguel Avila, could you please start reading and everybody follow the reading, please. In 1777, a barber named William Hayes closed up shop and joined George Washington's Continental Army in the revolution against England. He went to Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, where a Prussian general named Baron von Steuben was training the Patriot troops in the former rules of battle the art that armies used in those days. Like many women of that time, his wife, Mary, nicknamed Molly, went with him. Some people think that she is legendary hearing Molly picture. Okay, stop there. So, continue, please. Me, mister. I, mister. Please. I'm here. Three. Angeles? General George Washington was commander-in-chief of the Continental Army. He and other officers plus a veteran army of about 12,000 men and boys were camped off Valley Forge just before Christmas for off Washington is doing a war with another country. Yes, they are in a war. To the yeah. Afghanistan, England. He's doing a war. Yes, of course, they are in war, right? They are in battle. Right? Washington made the like war. Washington made the war. Yes, of course. So, George Washington, right? So, could you identify the, the setting of the story? The oh, battle. The, the battle. The battle? The setting of the story. Yeah. I'm talking about the setting. He says no, Wimbister. Ernie! Ernie! The Ernie. Ernie! Okay, which is the setting? Do you remember which, which is the setting of the story, guys? England. 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 Right, but... England. Yes. Yes, of course. England. 
because the revolution, it says that continental army in the revolution against England, right? He went to Bali Forge. That is the setting of this, right? Spent in Bali. Yes? Spent in Bali is where it was happening, right? Okay, let's continue then. Mr. Me, I want to. Mr. I want. Okay, Glynis, read the tutorials we have. It was so cold and soldiers had to stand on their hats in the snow to keep their feet from freezing. Their shoes had holes in them from, from tramp, tramping over a mass of rough and stony ground. They had no blanket and clothes. They didn't have enough to eat. Their camp was a filthy mess. Many of them were very sick. Every day more and more soldiers desert. Others died. Okay, so okay, they are describing, right? They are describing the scenes, right? What was happening in that moment, in that place. Yes? Miguel Alejandro, continue. Miguel Alejandro, please. Continue. Molly, another woman, would did follow husband, son, fathers, and brothers to Baylor Ford. Did weather they called to help? They cooked and cleaned, washed and mended clothes, and nursed the sick. But no matter that they did more soldiers did this day. Okay, stop here. What happened? What happened? They were in battle, but they has their wife, right? They they were with them, yes, because Molly and other women, right, follow husband. Probably uh, Molly was following her husband, right, sons or father, right. So it means that they were women around the bottle. And what this woman did, what they were doing, they were cooking and cleaning, right for the soldiers, yes? Let's continue then with Andrea Monserrat. Is Andrea Monserrat here? Okay. Okay, Andrea. You're reading, Andrea. Yes. Continue. Molly, another woman who followed husbands, sons, fathers, and brothers to Bali. Forge did one You have to, that's why I'm telling you that you have to follow the reading. You have to pay attention, Andrea. It is the next paragraph. Read the next paragraph. Things at the end of June, as cold. No, we in things and began. Things began. Things began to look up when the Second Con Continental Congress final final sent supplies. General Washington began planning to go to battle again. Okay. At the end of June, a large number of British soldiers led by Sir Henry Clinton were gathered at Monmouth House near the New Jersey Shore. The okay. fight. Okay, continue, continue. The fight everyone had been preparing for. Was coming very soon. Okay. Washington. Stop there. I want to read Mr. Diego Betancourt, could you please read the last paragraph? <laughs> Diego Betancourt. <laughs> what happened with Diego Betancourt? Se fue de la reunión, Mr. Mr. Manfred. Mr. Solo somos 17. Okay, uh, Gabriela, could you please finish the reading, please? I 
Washington ordered General Charles Lee to lead an advance guard of 5,000 soldiers to attack the British. Okay. Lee sent in a rear guard of more men soon after the fighting was underway. William Hayes was among Lee's advance guard marching to battle as she always had Molly followed. Okay, so we will stop here, right? But I need you to analyze these two pages. And what we have to do, what can we conclude about what life was like for Washington soldiers, right? What can you see, think about how was the Washington soldiers? Uh, Mr. Then tell me. Today we don't have religion class. No, uh, pay attention in the class, Sebastian. We are discussing the class yet. Okay, and after that we will discuss that. Uh, guys, what can we conclude about these soldiers? What can we say about these soldiers? That that I die in the that they are fighting. That most of the are. Okay. Let's speak the others. Because I'm asking, right, that, that what can you think about them, not what they were doing. And not Mr. they were in battle. That the soldiers are, are in battle and others start dying because they cold. Yes. Baden, do you have something something else to say? Uh, that I think that the soldiers, they are continue to the war. Yes, they are in war, right? So No, to continue, uh, yeah. like continue fighting. Okay, the they are in constant, you know what I mean? They are always fighting, right? So they, we will stop here, guys. And what you have to do is the following thing. You, as you can see here, right? You have here the picture of the story. This is the cover of the story, right? What you have to do is to, you have to draw, you have to draw another cover from this story, right? According to what you have concluded so far. Another one. Mr. Harper draw this and the king. Oh, stop, wait. You have to draw another one, a different one. Otra portada, pero con el mismo nombre y todo eso. Yes, according to what you understand. Mister, pero yo tengo una I have a question, mister. Was that in the red, in the key in of the other, have to do the same? Sorry? In the other story of the key, how the key in no, oh, no, just in this one. Okay. You have to draw a different cover from this cover. Right? We do it in the NATO or we can do it in another page. In, a, in, a, in another page. Mister, es que yo tengo una pregunta. Que si hay que hacer, que si hay que dibujar la portada de la de King George también. No, solo es. Ah, bueno. Okay. Hay que Entonces, modificarla, no dibujar la misma. Podemos okay. poner un dibujo que está en la historia para ponerlo de portada. ¿O no? Mister, yo no sé. Mister, me salió un momento. ¿Qué hay que hacer? You have to draw a new cover for this story. Okay. In the conclusion. 